Good morning, guys. I have had a really, really lazy morning today. If you have watched last week's vlog, you'll see that I had quite a busy weekend. I was in London, so definitely go and watch that one. If you haven't already, back home now, had, as I said, a lazy morning. Should have gone to the gym, didn't go to the gym because I just couldn't be bothered. I am just about to head out now. I'm not actually sure where I'm gonna go. I just fancy going out for a bit of a drive and a bit of a mooch about. Probably get a coffee, maybe some lunch somewhere, which would be nice because it is it's sunny-ish today. It's still a bit cloudy and very windy at the moment, really windy at the moment. But apart from that, I have also got to edit last week's video. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do that this evening. Yeah, that's my day today. Let's go. we are back this lighting is awful but i'm just going to go with it because it kind of is what it is oh you can't it makes my nose look even more wonky but anyway so i've just been back from grabbing a coffee you might have seen that i also went into sort of a warehouse charity shop styled thing i was looking at furniture just to get some sort of little side tables or I don't really know, just some sort of furniture, but there wasn't really anything in there. I did pick up a few bits though. So what I picked up were these beautiful, beautiful pieces of art. I really can't wait to put these on my wall somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm not actually going to put these up on my wall. I actually just quite liked the black frame and because it's sort of a shiny flat material that the print is on, my plan is to sort of paint over it in white and then I just have two white framed blank canvases and they're two pound each. It's so much cheaper to buy stuff, paint over it, than it is to obviously just buy a canvas. I also got another one which is a bit bigger and this one has a, I think it's glass. This is a glass picture frame. Obviously the picture in it I'm not gonna keep. But again, I quite liked the black frame and what I'm planning to do is, as I said, paint over it in white and then kind of just try and make some sort of art because the sort of abstract style that I quite like in art and art prints and stuff like that, I always think that I can just make something that's very similar. That is a very big toxic trait of mine is thinking that I can make stuff that other people are just extremely good at. So we'll have a go and see. I might do that tomorrow or I might do that at some point this week. There's two square ones were two pound each and that big, what, big large black frame was three pound. So it's just so cheap for what you actually get. So I'm quite happy with those. We'll see what I can make with them. And then I also went shopping. I didn't show you any of the shop, but I wasn't really home last week at all. So I had to do a big shop and I stocked up with some quite nice stuff. I got lots of vegetables. I actually treated myself to some salmon. I'm really enjoying sort of 
rice bowls at the moment, which is the plan to have a bit of salmon, some got some avocado, I've got some eggs, and I've got some obviously some veg and stuff like that. So yeah, really enjoying that sort of food at the moment. But the only sweet treat that I picked myself up were these. So some people are gonna think, what the fuck are these? But these are egg custard tarts and I love them. And even if you do know what they are, people are still probably thinking, what the fuck have you bought those for? But I just love them and they're so satisfying to eat. So I'm gonna go and enjoy these now and watch some YouTube. I have just finished cooking myself some dinner and I've gone for a kind of, you can't really see it too well. So I've gone for a little rice bowl for dinner today. So we have our little piece of salmon here. We've got some roasted broccoli. We've got some stir fried bok choy. We have some avocado over here. And then we have our fried egg on top. Then underneath there, we've got some rice with some chilies and spring onions. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Um, I've probably overdone it with loads of different flavors, but mm. it all tastes good individually. Mm. Good morning, people. So it is currently Friday morning and I have had a very unproductive last two days i've basically done nothing i did a little bit of cleaning around the house but that was kind of about it i tend to go through the same motions every single time i have a really good weekend up in london i come home on the monday fairly late-ish so i just sort of chill and go to bed then tuesday i have a really productive day i get out i do stuff i have creative ideas i create some content and then suddenly it hits me that I'm at home, bored, on my own, on this island where there's not much to do. And I get a bit sad, a bit depressed, and just sit indoors for the next couple of days. So that is kind of how my Wednesday and Thursday have gone. Um, I've just been watching YouTube and films and series and stuff like that. But anyway, today is a new day. And I think I'm gonna go for a long walk, just to clear my head, listen to some music, and sort of get myself out of the house and moving again, because, yeah, sitting on the sofa for two days straight has not done my body any good, so... But before I go, I received a box full of goodies from a company called Madewell. So, first up, we have this pair of sunglasses. They're just a really nice, simple black silhouette pair with black frame and black lenses. And I sort of picked them out because I don't have a pair like this. Because they're just all black, they'll go with any outfit. But I've been wearing quite a lot of all black outfits recently. And I think that these will just top it off and make the outfit look really smart and classy. I always see people wear glasses all the time in pictures and for me, it's not as natural to wear glasses. I feel a bit, I feel more comfortable without glasses on. But for pictures and stuff like that, they're really good for hiding the old bags under the eyes. So yeah, hide half my face with a pair of glasses. So these ones will do the trick nicely. Next up, we have this cap, which I just quite liked the color of it. Actually, it's a very neutral, uh, stony color with some green detailing on the front. But again, with hats, I never know if they're actually gonna fit because I have such a small head. It tends to be the height of the hat that's too big for me. Um, it kind of sticks up and looks a bit stupid, in my opinion, but let's see. I haven't actually tried this on yet. Let's see, again, it's a bit puffy on the head, and if I go down any further, so it fits the top of my head, it makes my ears uh, stick out, which we don't want. But I think I can get away with this one just a little bit above. And yeah, actually, I think this one will look okay. They're just too tall for my head. I've got such a small head. It's really annoying to find caps, but we will get there one day. We then have a pair of jean shorts or jorts as people like to call them. I haven't actually tried these ones on yet, but I have been looking for a sort of longer pair of shorts. I think these ones were like eight inches long. 
So measuring up, so sort of putting them to my waist, they look like they'll come down to about my kneecap, which is a good length for shorts. So because my legs are so long and skinny, if I have any sort of shorts that go over the knee, I just look ridiculous. I don't know what it is. I've tried that look where you wear the really long shorts with socks and loafers, and I just look like a fucking idiot. I, I look like a school kid I, who's been given too big a clothes. It just looks ridiculous. So yeah, these ones coming down to the knee should be a good length, and I'll probably put a video up of me wearing them out because I'll try and get an outfit shot today. Last up, we have a short sleeve shirt, which is in this lovely sort of beige creamy color. As you can see, it has these lovely details stitched into the shirt, which just adds a really nice detailed difference to the shirt, just so it's not a normal plain shirt. So yeah. I'm actually quite happy with all the pieces that they sent across, so I'll try them on, put a few outfits together, and yeah, and we will see how I can style them. I'm gonna go for my walk now, so I'll bring you guys along for the ride, slash walk.
it is Sunday afternoon. Yesterday I didn't film anything but I went on a cleaning rampage so I'm sort of one of those people that I hate cleaning. Uh, it is such an awful chore but once I actually start doing it I can't stop like I just see everything that is dirty and clean it. I, I just, yeah, I go into like sort of a machine mode where everything just gets cleaned. So that was my day, which is good. It's finally done and it makes me feel a bit better when it's all nice, sparkly clean floors and all of that lots. I didn't think that you'd want to see me vacuum and mop floors because I didn't think that was very good entertainment. But over the last couple of days, I have received a few items in the post. So I thought I'd show you guys what I've got. So the first few items that I'm gonna show you are a couple of jewelry pieces from the brand. I'm on, I'm on the X. I'm on the X. I'm on the X. I'm on the X. It's this brand. I'll put their link in the description below. The guy reached out to me, the guy Isaac actually reached out to me on Instagram, sort of saying if I would like a few bits. And I sort of just said, yeah, send me a couple of bits that you think I'll like. And yeah, so I'll show you what I got. First up, we have this lovely signet ring with the hammered effect on the front or top, whatever you want to call it. All of these are sterling silver 925, which is lovely because that is what all of my jewelry is. That is that one on. So the next piece is just this band ring, which has also got the sort of rough hammered effect on the outside, which again is sterling silver 925. So we love that. This one is gonna be a nice upgrade for the other band ring that I was wearing that was a really old one from ASOS. And then we also have this lovely, lovely bracelet, which I don't even know what you'd call this, what sort of links these are, but I think it is a very nice item that kind of goes with the style. So that's all three of them on. But yeah, I'm really happy with these. They're definitely gonna all go into my daily rotation of rings because as you guys know, I do love my jewelry and wear it all the time. Yeah, lovely handcrafted silver items. I have just seen on the bottom of this leaflet that if you use the code community, you will get 10% off your next order. So yeah, that is very kind of them. So thank you for the guys that I'm, 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 I'm on, I'm money X. Very good jewelry. So the next two items I'm gonna show you are from a brand called Harmony Paris. So I, I spoke about them a couple of weeks ago where they gifted me some stuff and none of it fit. So they're still setting up the return for me to send those pieces back. But they said in the meantime, if there's anything else I wanna order from their website, let them know and there was a couple of bits. So yeah, I'll show you what I got this time. And all this stuff fits, which is good. First up, we have this knitted navy vest, which I'm gonna wear today over the top of this white t-shirt. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So it's just a simple knit. It's not ridiculously thick. So I will be able to wear this in the cooler evenings of the summer. I always love a knitted vest. I can't always quite find the right style for it. I do like them over the top of t-shirts and shirts, but I just think I look a bit silly sometimes. I kind of prefer wearing vests like this just on their own, but sometimes it's not vibe for that. So the next item is this pair of black shorts. As you can see, they have an elasticated waist, which is good for the summer. You don't have to wear a belt, obviously. And they are just a really good length. I did try these on quickly yesterday and they kind of come down to halfway on my kneecap. Put this and the vest on now just so you guys can see it. They are a really good length actually, so I was very impressed. It's kind of, I don't really know, it's a shinier material. Reminds me a bit more of like sporty sort of vibes, but they also look quite smart. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with these because I was desperate for a black pair of trousers. And I think with this sort of material, the black won't fade as quickly because you know you get those sort of black chino-y textured shorts. They always get 
sunbleached. They always go like this browny, orangey color in the sun. It's really, really annoying. So I'm hoping these being this sort of, I don't want to say nylon, I don't know what. Let's have a look back here. I always forget that I can actually have a look at what material this is. So it is 72% wool and 27% mohair. Mohair, whatever, however you say it. So I might go out for a little mooch and a stroll. Get myself, I really fancy a donut, so I might buy some donuts or donut. We'll see. And then I also need some just normal household items because I sort of went through cleaning stuff yesterday and other bits and bobs that I just need for my house. So. I'm back. I picked up all of the cleaning stuff that I needed. I got some rubber gloves, some scourers, and some tape that I needed. Yeah, I kind of forgot that on a Sunday where I live, everywhere either doesn't open or shuts at four o'clock. And I literally got into town about 10 to four. So everything was shutting. I didn't manage to get coffee. I really, 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 I'm craving a donut so badly and everywhere was shut. So I haven't got a donut, I haven't got coffee. I need something sweet, but don't actually have anything in my house. I might have to try and make like a bodge job cake or something like that, just to get that sweet craving gone. Let's be honest, I'm probably gonna end up just chilling for the rest of the day. Anyway, because the light keeps on going in and out behind the clouds and Changing this, it's really fucking annoying me, so I will probably catch you guys in the next one.